Welcome everybody, this is Anthony um, with the association. I just wanted to welcome everybody to today's training. Uh, today's training is all on Savvy Card. Now a Savvy Card uh, for real estate basically is your electronic business card. And this is a free new member benefit offered to you by CRMLS and your association. And what this allows us to do is have an electronic business card at our fingertips. So real quickly, just to go over some real basic points here, this is a free member benefit. It is a simplified push button uh, prospecting and marketing platform for real estate agents and their listings. So again, this is all free to you. Um, just real quickly, what is Savvy Card? As, as a matter of fact, you as an agent get two types of cards. One is called the Agent Savvy Card, which is your electronic business card. And then, of course, you have another uh, tool called the Property Savvy Card. So any listing that you list in the MLS, whether it's residential or uh, lease or landlot or mobile home or commercial, whenever it's listed or whatever you list a property in the MLS, you automatically get a property card for your property that you can share on your social media, share with your clients so that they can share it on their social media. And the more important part or aspect of this is that you can now lead capture or get the leads directly sent to you, okay? Now, why do we need these cards? Uh, basically, it's all about prospecting, right? This is the most difficult part of any sales process. You spend 42% of the time trying to pr prospect for potential clients, whether they're your direct sphere of influence, whether you go to an open house, whether you're paying for it on websites like Zillow, whether you're door knocking, dropping cards, you know, putting things on people's cards. You are spending a majority of your life or your real estate life prospecting for business, okay? 42% of the time, whereas 36% of the time you're closing business, uh, whether it's closing a client, closing a property, what have you, or you're 22% of the time spending with the client trying to get them qualified. So out of your entire transactional life uh, with a client, 42% of that time is spent trying to obtain them. So we need to have better engagement to generate more revenue, okay? And we're gonna think about these types of things in a cost-effective way. So how do we do this today? We probably hand out business cards, right? We meet somebody at an open house or we meet somebody on the street and we hand them our business card, right? It costs you about roughly 60 cents per card that you hand out. And the stats say that you have to hand out at least 2,000 business cards in order to generate $5,000 worth of business. And that's a lot, right? Cost us a lot of money to get business cards, roughly about, what, a couple of hundred bucks um, to have really nice business cards to only hand out 2,000 of them before we even see $5,000 in return. So what's the problem with this? Problem is, is we give the person an excuse to walk away, right? We're having that great conversation with them or in our minds, we're having a good conversation and they kind of go, all right, that's great. Give me your business card and I'll give you a call later. And when we hand that business card, we turn around and we think, all oh, right, we're gonna hopefully get that person and hold on to them, right? But yet at this, what's one of the problems? We never got their information back. Maybe they don't call us, right? This is what we hope for. This is what happens to those business cards. It finds its way in the laundry because it was in their back pocket. It's made as a great coaster. Maybe the little kids, you know, chew on it or rip it up, or you got the animals that, that like to chew on paper, you know, whatever, or even funnier yet, maybe somebody uses it to stabilize their, their table at home, right? So it's not overly cost effective. One of the nice things about an electronic business card is that we can text our business card to our protect, protective, uh, prospective clients that we're meeting, okay? So when we meet and greet, it's an excuse to get their information, to be able to text message their information, right? Or our information to them. When the customer accesses that text message, it immediately asks them 
can we add this person to your contacts? And if they say yes, that means that now when I call them or text message them, it's not going to be a blank number or an unknown number. It will actually have my information. But wait a minute. When I text this person my card, the opposite also happens. The system asks me, can I add this person to my contacts on my phone? To which if all my contact information or all my contact platforms are being synchronized, that means I'm also lead capturing them in my CRM. And by the way, we are gonna follow up within one to two days by text message, phone call, whatever, okay? And this is how we're going to start building our relationships. We're building our relationships electronically, okay? So it's usually those key moments, and we'll go back here, that we also sometimes don't even have our business cards with us when we meet people, right? You ever meet somebody at, you know, just on the street or at the um, restaurant or at the grocery store, and they would go, they usually ask you, can I get your information? And nine times out of 10, we all say, oh, I, were, I don't have my business cards on me. And again, they walk away trying to remember our information. That's not built, uh, building relationships. Building the relationships is trying to connect with them, communicate with them, right? So with the Agent Savvy card, it's your business, it's your digital business card plus. What I mean by plus is that you're gonna be able to have in this business card an IDX search for not only your listings, but for any other potential listings. So you're kind of giving the, or you are giving the client a branded app to be able to um, look at properties. Now, if they happen to share my business card electronically with someone else, I can capture that other person as well. And again, it's got lead capture and lead generation, which is great. It also self-optimizes a Google uh, for Google search ratings. And why is that? Is because this is not an actual app. It's actually a website. And way Google works is that if a website is hit or used often, it starts elevating it in searches. So as people access this business card, they're accessing a website with your name on it and with your branded information. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're elevated even higher than say Zillow. Because even if you do a Google search right now, you'll notice that usually in the top three, it's all about Zillow. Zillow has got your name because Zillow pushes your name out. But what's the problem? When they go to that Zillow website, they're not going to necessarily you. They're going to a list of find other agents. Here with Savvy Card, if someone's accessing your website, Savvy Card elevates you even above Zillow at some point. And when they click on that card or click on your name for Savvy Card, it is directed to you and only you. Oh, and by the way, you can also set up a branded email. And all, all in all, this is instant customer engagement, and we'll kind of touch on that today. Now, here are some of the button features. It's got a direct call button, so you are directly called. It has an email feature so that you are directly emailed through your own business card. So someone doesn't have to jump into their email to write an email to you. They could do that all through your card. They can even text message you. They can instantly share it and you can share it with an individual or post it on social media. So it generates people to want to work with you. Has a section for finding your listings. Now, if you have a listing in the MLS, then you have a section right off to the um, left of find homes that says featured listings. Now these featured listings are your properties that you are listing in the MLS. Right next to that is find a property. You can talk about your organization a little bit, right? Like your address, the name of the company, how to find you at your company address. The more has a social media platform where you can list all your social media platforms so that they can friend you on say your Facebook, your YouTube, your Instagram accounts, what have you. You have a recommended section of people that you as an agent work with that you would like to recommend that a client use. 
So this would be a great spot for your vendors, like your title, your lender, your escrows, maybe even people that you recommend like an electrician or uh, a gardener or things like that. Information about you. And of course the back button, okay? Now, you also have your property savvy card. Anytime you list a property in the MLS within the first 30 minutes, a property website is automatically generated uh, or a property savvy card is automatically generated for you and you are emailed that card. Now this is a single uh, listing web app uh, for every listing that you post. It's a push button simple to social media and of course the seller can share, okay? So it's really easy. It's just basically, you've got the contact the agent, which is you, which will default to your savvy card that they can now download. It's got the features of the property. Right now it just shows the property details in the description, how to find the property, the photos of the property. They can share, or you can share this property with an individual or a particular person like a client of yours or a potential client, or you can push this to social media. Now, one of the key things with the share with, with an individual, share it to the seller and ask them or encourage them to share it to their social media, okay? Which will be pretty amazing because now you're having the client help generate leads for their own home, which now come directly to you. Other listings in the area, and of course, the nearby schools. So here, something really nice for potential buyers, there's all the schools nearby and their ratings. So email notifications on the property savvy card comes directly to you. Again, within the first 30 minutes of you actually posting a listing in the MLS to active, here the savvy card uh, email comes up, tells you the property address. And of course, there's a choice to, whoops, share the listing with the home seller. You click that button, you email it to the seller. They can now download it or access it from their phone. They can now post it to their social media, the whole nine yards, okay? And we're not gonna bore you with that. So now let's claim your savvy card. Very easy. You're not gonna download the app, so there's no app store to go, go to. Just go to the web and go to www.savvy, S-A-V-V-Y, C-A-R-D as in dog, Dot com. From there, you're gonna claim your ID and how you do that is that you're gonna move your mouse to where it says menu. When you click on menu, there will be a choice to uh, claim your card and you're gonna put your email address that you have registered with CRMLS. Once you do that, then an email is going to be generated to you and it says successful, you're gonna then go into that email on your phone and you're gonna create a password. Once you create the password, then you can log into Savvy Card. And from here, you can click on view this card from your phone, and then you're gonna bookmark the website onto your phone, okay? Now, how you bookmark the website, depending on your phone, whether you're an Apple user or an Android user, there's a couple of ways of doing it, very simple. For an iPhone, you're gonna look for the icon that, that's got the box with the arrow coming out. When you tap on that, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna tap on the choice that says add to home screen. This will then add an icon to, to your home screen after you hit the add button. Now, if you're an Android user on a website, you're gonna hit the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of the property website, or uh, I'm sorry, of your savvy card. You're gonna get a drop down menu to which you're now gonna tap the choice that says add to home screen, which will now add, after you hit the add button, an icon on your screen, okay? Now there are a few things here real quickly that I wanna to touch on. In our um, website, so on the web, we're gonna cut, touch on a couple of things super quickly here. And by the way, are there any questions? I know I went through that presentation pretty quickly, but it, it's really a really simple tool. So very easy. What we're going to do as agents is we can come to the web 
and we need to set some things up because we're going to notice that maybe on our savvy card we don't have a photo of ourselves or or anything like that so what we're going to do is we're going to log into our account and when we log into our account we're going to get this portion of the website and what we're going to need to do first before viewing it to make it have all these extra buttons and of course fill in things because this the website doesn't know who we're recommending doesn't know what websites we have access to it doesn't even have our email or text message here if you'll notice i don't have a text message button we have to activate these things so the way we're going to do that is back on the website when we go to log in underneath where it says view this card there's a choice that says edit this card when we click on edit this card we're going to get what the card looks like it's going to have a background now depending on what company you work for you might have your company background with its company logos here but you won't have a picture of yourself now in order to get your picture to appear here you're going to need to email your picture to support at savvycard.com. That's S U P P O R T at savvy, S A V V Y C A R D.com. Once you do that, you're going to attach your photo and say, please update my background image. In about a day or two, Savvy Card will upload the background image to your Savvy Card to whereby you can then choose from your picture section your picture now it looks like they just uploaded a new feature here called upload a photo which was not here last week so that's a good thing now to get the extra buttons you're going to go to the tab that says buttons from here you're going to be given a lot of buttons to choose from most of which will be in this off position so here we're just going to say hide and save just to show you what i mean Okay, so here you're going to need to go through your buttons and activate them. So come to your text message button, click on the down arrow, type in your cell number, and then say yes, show this button on my card, and then hit save. Now it'll go from a red button to a green button and go through all your buttons and adding in what needs to be added in. Okay. Now, when it comes to those extra things like contact information about your company, recommended and my sites and the social, this is what you're going to do. And I'm gonna turn off my text message button here. You're going to come down to say about your company, hit the down arrow and put in your company information. Maybe you even put in a very basic company profile. Then you're going to choose yes, show this button on my card and then hit save. As for your recommended, click the down arrow and add in the people that you're recommending a potential client of yours contact so here as an example I'm going to say um, add another I'm going to type in their name Ray Cinco recommended for MLS support maybe if he's got a URL put a, his your URL www.ocrealtors.org save his information maybe i want to add in another person or modify an existing you can do that as as well okay and always hit save besides the recommended my sites your websites are all your recommended websites that you want somebody to go to. So um, put in your personal website, put in your um, any other websites 
that somebody can go to to gain access to information. Maybe your direct um, Zillow profile link uh, that shows all of your, um, what is it called? Uh, all of your listings, okay? Not that you would need to do that, but you could. Same thing for your social media. Put in all your social media platforms. Here we go. I'm going to select Facebook. Facebook.com front slash Anthony Breed. And actually put in your specific business page name. Save. Things like that. Now at this point, you are done and you're now ready to share this with a client. So now, once we get that information here, we are now ready to get this information out to a potential client. So say, as an example, we now meet somebody at an open house, or maybe I wanna send this out to uh, some of my contacts in my CRM. Well, come over to the share button and you're going to tap on your share button on your phone and you're going to say share it with an individual. Now you're going to put in the individual's name. And maybe you even put in their cell phone number. And then give them a nice little message. Now you can say share this card. And now this is successfully shared the card. To which now you as the agent can now immediately download that, download that person directly into your contacts on your phone. So now once the phone receives the text message, they will now touch on the web link in the text message to which now they are asked immediately, would you like us to add this person as a contact on your phone? And if they say yes, we can now contact that person on a regular basis because they have given us authorization to call them and text message them. Now, another nice thing here about Savvy Card, and we're just gonna go back here just a little bit. Back at um, all the menus choices here, now what we're gonna do is look at the card analytics. Oh, and by the way, you also can have a QR code What's nice about this is that you can email this out to say a sign writer designer. And now if somebody scans this, they are immediately given my savvy card to now add to their contact list, to add me to their phone. So now what happens here? How do I know if I'm getting leads or not? Well, here at the main menu of savvy card, we're now gonna look at the card analytics. And the card analytics shows me everything and anything about who I've sent my card to. So here is my list of potential clients, the dates that I sent the card out or text message the card. In this case, what type of share did I send them or did they download it? Who shared it? Who I sent it to? And of course, any messaging back and forth. Now, at this point, this is where we can have a little fun. Say I've sent this card to, say, Pam Pedigo. And when I go and look at my analytics, I notice that under the card share, I see Pam Pedigo's name, and I get to see the person that she shared it with. So right away, I get to see if anybody is sharing out my card with anyone else. So one thing that I would recommend to agents is send this electronic business card to your vendors, like your title, your lender, your escrows uh, people, right? Because they've got people that they wanna recommend an agent for, right? Well, give them your electronic business card and now you can give a nice special thank you to your title, lender, and escrow people, even your gardeners and your electricians that they've shared out your information with their clients. And if the client has accessed it, maybe they will give you a call or a text message inquiring about properties, okay? This is Savvy Card in a nutshell. Are there any questions on Savvy Card?
Done. Well, if there are no questions on Savvy Card, I want to thank everybody for attending today's webinar. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. My um, information is Tony at ocrealtors.org. That's my email. Or feel free to give me a call at 949-586-6800, extension 104. Hope everybody has a great and wonderful day and enjoy using your electronic business card. Bye-bye.